<clears throat> All right, good Monday morning. Now uh, we're trading 11.40 here, uh, 10 minutes into the open, 11.40, 11.40 and a quarter, which is the R1. R2 today is 11.42, we'll call it, and uh, the high for the year is 11.48 and change. Looks like uh, they want to run up to this high. We are now uh, 100 points up since the February jobs number. We had the, uh, the jobs number on Friday, which again uh, was promoted as encouraging, yet I, if, if you look at that and the beige book there's a lot of uh, spin going on but it is what it is price is up we're up a thousand looking at uh, interestingly enough uh, was looking at the uh, at a quick glance of the opening highs to the close the opening highs meaning the first 30 minutes uh, of opening trading 630 to 7 here on the west coast 930 to 10 so the high of that opening half hour to the close all last week uh, we were up a net of two points so although we were up this uh, huge action again last week, nearly uh, 40 points, all of it came pretty much overnight or in the uh, first gap half hour or so. Uh, there has not been a lot of movement in this market, continues to be muted, yet, uh, yet we are uh, pushing towards the high of the year. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, you've got to be patient here, take your trades, tra take less trades as uh, really hasn't been a lot of intraday volatility. And as far as swing trades, uh, I see real no general reason to chase this market here, especially after we've gone 100 points in a month, which is uh, nearly 10%. So we are up nearly 10% now in a month. I think we're due for a pullback. A couple things working uh, here. We've got ex expiration on the futures beginning this week, Thursday. Expiration on stocks and options is next Friday. So uh, roll over those contracts this week, Thursday, beginning Thursday, from the H to the M when it comes to the uh, financial futures. And uh, there'll be a number of uh, quarterly uh, rollovers going on. Uh, that being said, again, R2 today is 11.42. We're at 11.40. So again, another gap up here this morning. We'll see what happens after the opening uh, 30 minutes. But uh, that's really always a key way that I've gauged in my training is that uh, opening uh, 30 uh, to the close and uh, again this past week we had a net plus two points after the opening highs uh, were set so a very flat market uh, intraday and hasn't been a lot of day trading opportunities uh, to look at so that's where we are again pushing up to the high of the year here at 1148 and uh, we'll be back with you Tuesday